soccer team is officially the state's best. The side capped off an undefeated run by beating Sydney's Manly West in the final of the New South Wales PWSA knockout. It's the ultimate sudden death competition, from 502 teams at the start of the year down to just one. And the Warhope girls did it with ease. I haven't seen or heard of a school that's actually done this before, but we've gone through the entire state competition without conceding a goal. The team clocked up almost 3,000 kilometres throughout the year, travelling as far as Byron Bay and Gosford for some matches. And the girls drew extra inspiration from their predecessors, who won the Shield four years ago. On the back of each one of their shirts, uh, there's a signature from the girls that won this competition back in 2006. That was good, because we knew that other people had won in our shirts. <laughs> So it was exciting. Having won all of their preliminary matches to earn the title of North Coast champion, the team headed south to Newcastle for the state playoffs. Another dream run for the girls, and again, not a single goal scored against them. The Warhope side securing the knockout shield with a 2-0 victory over Manly West. <laughs> Lynn Laline, NBN News. Meanwhile, 17 young North Coast footballers have been selected to participate in a high-performance training program to be run in Coffs Harbour. The Centres of Excellence program provides the junior footballers with unique training techniques to improve their performance. The elite coaching program is also designed to prepare the players for future representative selection. The spirits of players at Central Coast Club Tookley Hawks are soaring after the club signed former Manly and West Tigers rugby league star John Hopawate. The 35-year-old will take to the field as a prop and will be one of the highest profile players to have competed in Central Coast rugby league. The signing